I have waited for Bella to give me her consent to start working with her and to calm down a little bit. She has been standing at my car for quite a while um, after I worked with JJ. And so I've received her uh, consent and I'm now starting the work. A few weeks ago when I did try to work on her, I noticed that just after the withers, um, she did have some issues which was pointing towards the heart, the liver, the gall, the spleen, the stomach, kidney, triple heater system. And um, it seems as though at this point in time, as well, she does have some discomfort in those areas, but not as much as it was the last time. So because of not having a proper tripod and to film her eyes, you can see her eyes are closing much deeper as I'm keeping my hands on the spots that she actually is, uh, you know, indicating that there are some issues there. I, um, I can't really focus on where my hand is quite at the moment and also notice her eye uh, closing at that spot. So I hope that this will do in terms of showing you what her facial expressions are um, as I'm working her on her back area. And right now I'm going through the gall, liver, spleen, stomach, triple heater system, the kidneys, the large intestine, small intestine and the bladder. Her foal Phoebe is standing quite close to her. And you're going to knock my car for my umbrella, no? You're going to knock my car. <laughs> okay, so she felt something there. She was uncomfortable in this area. It's interesting because that is her gallbladder. That's the area for the gallbladder. And personally, myself, I also had issues with my gallbladder so it's quite interesting that we both are uncomfortable <laughs> at the same spot so it could be you know beneficial for both of us in that sense I'm keeping my hand longer on those particular areas where she has shown discomfort and this is an indication of much deeper work. Okay, so she's moved back. She's obviously uncomfortable in that area, which is the hind quarters. Um, and I'm gonna try and do that again. She's just standing rather close to the car, so it's a bit difficult to get, go and work from there. But I'm going to try just now. Gonna, I'm going to move her to a better position. Okay, so she wouldn't really move. So I'm going to try on this side. And Phoebe is standing rather close to her as well. Um, but I'm going to try nonetheless and see how it goes. So Bella is still very relaxed. And Phoebe wants to nudge my elbow. I'm just gonna swap hands. I can hold the camera. The area that she was uncomfortable in was BL28, which is the bladder, and BL35, which I'm not quite sure what that is. Um, I need to get um, Nancy Horn to perhaps let me know what BL35 is, so I know what the issues are with Bella. Although she has moved, She's there is this is an indication that there is some level of discomfort that she's feeling. Some shift is happening and some and adjustment is taking point, place. Her withers are always, um, you can see, it's a problem, so it's a bit sore. So Bella has been ridden before. She was a horse that was used to train children to ride. So she's come from a riding school. She's about 
um, I think seven years old now but she's been working with children for a long time and since she's come here no one's really ridden her so she's been almost free and uh, to be in, in the wild basically Okay, it's a bit uncomfortable for her. She's moving back. <laughs> She's slowly processing all um, that is happening right now and also releasing in, in subtle licks and shoes, which I um, kind of didn't capture enough of. But you will see, um, when the camera moves, you will see that there is the licks and shoes. She's doing it very subtly. Running the bladder meridian through your horse at least once or twice a week or maybe every two weeks is a very good form of um, keeping them or their health in check and it also reduces a lot of vet visits as well because this is kind of like a natural way of healing any kind of misalignment in your horse. So we're done on this side, there's not much uncomfortable feeling except for around the withers on this side and on the other side it was the hindquarters. So now we just wait for Madame Bella to see her response. It's deep processing right now for her. I want to try and finish the other side. See if I can. Maybe start again. It's definitely around the area of the withers. See, it's doing that again here. So that was a, a form of release as well, and she starts licking and chewing, as you can see. Okay, she's moving backwards. Chewing, licking, sorry, I didn't catch that, but... Um, there's her lick and chew, so there's a release. managed to get past the other hindquarters where we couldn't get past the other time. That was BL35 and BL40 that I couldn't get past. Here we go. We're all done. We're all done, big girl. We're all done. Yeah.
She comes to greet me again as I've started working around her withers again. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there and uh, I'm just going to watch for her release, um, licking, chewing, sighing and uh, I did notice that she was breathing a bit heavy, um, so that especially around the area of her withers and her hindquarters on the mm, right side, yeah. So gonna leave her at the moment she's a beautiful beautiful girl she's my beautiful girl to my beautiful girl so what I'm doing now is I've just I'm resting my hand on her shoulder point because I've noticed that she tends to blink deeply at this point so So there's some licking and chewing. Some licking and chewing. Uh-uh, no biting your baby. <laughs> no biting your baby. I suppose she needed some time alone to process everything.